Hello out there music lovers and music students. Today we're going to begin our 2019 How to Write a Song series and we're going to begin with a uh, song that was written by the great Duke Ellington. This is Satin Doll. It's a uh, favorite among jazz musicians and singers. Has been for many years and it was probably Duke Ellington's most popular hit. Uh, what's interesting about this song is the use of motivic development and sequences, which uh, Ellington was rather, rather fond of, just like Beethoven was, or Mozart was. Uh, he uses some of the same compositional techniques uh, that they did, and we're going to cover that in detail in a few minutes. Okay, let's take a look at how uh, the great Duke Ellington would write a song, one of the ways he would write a song. And this is Satin Doll. So what does Ellington do? He uses a lot of uh, motivic development and a lot of sequences in this tune. So we have the first motive, followed by... Okay. So, that's one little two note motive, answered by that. So now we have one longer motive, and that's followed by the same motive up a whole step. This is known as a sequence. So the chords are D minor to G, or 7th, D minor 7, G7. Same thing up a whole step, E minor 7th, A7. Okay? Now, that's the first four bars. Next four bars, D half diminished, which, um, I'm sorry, um, A half diminished, which functions the same as an A minor 7, so 2 to the D 7th, so that's again a 2 5 pattern. Okay, now down, same thing, down a uh, whole step, same, or rather down a half step, same chords. Okay. So, okay, and then this jumps down a third. Whereas the chords just go down a minor second. But you can see the pattern, right? And that resolves back to the C, which is the tonic. So the first eight bars. out of the second part of the first motive because he goes remember now he's going see how that works so he's really using very little material to construct the tune uh, same way you know Beethoven did that's the most obvious example um, Beethoven cons constructed the whole first move of that symphony out of that one motive and it's a very economical, very compact way of using, very efficient way of using musical material. And Ellington does that a lot in the way he writes. And anyway, so this constructs the first eight bars of the tune. And that's the A section. This is an AAB form, very common form in American songwriting actually goes back to binary dance form which goes way back in uh, musical composition and I'll probably do a video about binary dance form at some point but anyway so we do this twice we do the A section twice right and then we transition to the uh, bridge and we have a different contrasting motive 
right, in the key of F, 2, 5, 1, the chords are G minor, C, G minor, C to F, okay? Then we go up a whole step again. He's doing this whole step sequence. Ending on this uh, kind of funky chord. So we have a 2, 5, 1 with the same motive. A minor, D. And instead of going to the G, he has this deceptive cadence. Ending on the A flat. This is an A flat 13th, 9th sharp 11th. And then we go to this little type of uh, comma at the end of the phrase. And that ends the B section. Then back to A. And that's it. Very simple, but uh, I think Da Vinci said the greatest type of genius was simplicity. So we have a very uh, ingenious very simple tune is an exercise you may try to write a tune uh, in a 32 bar form A A B A using motives just like that and using similar chord sequences okay thanks for listening have a great day